Good afternoon, guys. This is Jose, and today I will be telling you about how rugby is a much safer sport than football. At the blink of an eye, your career could really be over in any sport you play, but most definitely football. One freak accident, one freak hit, one highlight reel play for somebody else might be your last play. You never know how it's going to happen. Imagine closing your eyes and opening them and just not being able to play you sports you love. How would you feel? Rugby changed that for me. I really... Personally, rugby was a safer sport for me. Football led to many more things than it should have, and football is really being helped right now by using more rugby tactics in today's game. I know most of us, when we were little, we played at least some type of sport. You know, parents put you in soccer, t-ball, basketball, anything. It might not have been the most enjoyable, but some people really enjoy that, and just imagine taking that away from them just playing the sport that they actually love. Now, in high school, I played four years of rugby. And then football, I only played two years. And rugby was actually originated in Warwickshire, England, in 1823, while football was originated in Canton, Ohio, in 1920. Those are very t two very different spots in the world, and I think that's pretty interesting. With that being said, both are very popular on both sides of the world that they're on. They both draw in very big crowds. They all have good hits, good highlights, all that. But one is proving to be much unsafer than the other. And and that <laughs> that is football. We hear that about more, more frequently than anything is a football injury causing people to retire early, to leave the game, contracts just disappearing from under them. It's not it's not something fun right now. So I, as I said earlier, I played both sports in high school. I didn't play four years of football because we weren't offered football until my junior year, so that's when I started. With that being said, I like both sports equally. They were pretty fun to do in high school. Also, in the four years I played rugby, I had only sustained one injury, and it was this broken finger that I could crack. Like, I mean, that's not too bad, but in football, in my two years, I had got one concussion, and half the time I played rugby. That's, it's pretty, that's a pretty serious thing. It's not fun to deal with. It's, it's, actually, it's actually pretty bad. I wouldn't wish that on anybody because I had to go through that, but concussions are something we have to take more serious, and this is a little bit how. Actually, in today's NFL, a lot of superstars, a lot of great players hit hard, you know, highlight reels, and they're the main ones getting concussions because they're out here trying to entertain us. I mean, it's a tough sport to play, and the way they play it is to the maximum level, so they have to have that they have to have that if factor to hit every play. When I graduated, my actual plan was to go play football at Eureka College, which I did for a year. And it was nice. I loved the college. It was a good experience, nice program. At Towards the end of the football season, I just wasn't really into it that much anymore. It's not like high school football anymore. It's more like a job. And as you get older, everything becomes more like a job got harder. I actually saw more injuries in one college practice than I did in four years of high school rugby. That's a true fact. So I wasn't trying to end up like that. I didn't really play football that much to be that committed to try, you know, not to get injured. So I came back to ICC after taking a year off, started playing rugby again getting into it, getting in shape, start playing in a men's league, where the most common common injury in a men's league is somebody pulling a muscle. And that's <laughs> that's pretty good compared to what, what could happen at the college level, especially playing at that type of level. My, my breaking point there was really I seen two running backs on our team go back-to-back, tear their ACLs, and back-to-back -back play literally one came out and the other one came in and literally the same thing happened different knees though that's that's not good but you know one of the main thing that makes rugby a safer sport overall is the tackling techniques a lot of 
football teams have adapted this, especially starting with the Seahawks. They have adapted a hawk tackling is what they call it. It's more of a wrap and roll type of tackle. Uh, in football, you wear helmets, which I got one right here, actually. This is a football helmet, you see. I barely use this one, but it got a little scratches and stuff. This is one of the newer ones. So it's pretty good, but I mean, as you see this, compared to a rugby, you don't have to wear a helmet, but I wear one. It's called a scrum cap. It's basically the interior of the football helmet, but outside. And since in rugby, you can't really tackle above the, above the armpits, you really don't need that much. With that being said, th this is way safer than this. Because if you could imagine, you going in with this, you think you're all protected, but literally it's two heads clanging together. It's not, it's not fun. It's not fun. While rugby, while football is played 11 on 11 on the field, rugby is played 15 on 15, which people might think, oh, that's too many people. Well, it's, it's better, it's safer, because you don't have much room to play around in. I mean, you're either running into somebody or you're not. And then, with that being said, there's less holes on the defense. You're going to be more into the action but you're not going to have them big bust open plays that you're just hitting the head every time you go another big point at rugby is as for me and all my friends that played we see a lot of older guys play at the men's level which is men's club that's like everybody could play but there's always a lot of older guys playing still as to where football there's not a lot of guys still playing a lot of guys actually retire earlier in football, and that actually is because concussions and ACL tears and career-ending injuries. Now, I said all this just to make sure that you guys know that rugby is a safer sport. I had the links in my last discussion board, and you could read a little bit about it more if I didn't detail it quite well. But football has been around 100 the last years, and there's been way more injuries, and I just don't think it's the safest sport, but it's pretty fun to watch. I watch both of them religiously, and I think we can learn a lot from rugby and use them more in today's game of the NFL. And if we had any, and if we had any way else, I think, I think football is becoming a safer sport as it is. Thank you, and I hope this video gets uploaded on time.